Dear God, I got one question. I need to know do revolutionaries go to heaven? And if so, may their legacies last forever and they seeds grow. Tell them that we love them so and never let them die slow. It's like we cursed to be born black. We was kings and queens, now look where we at. I know it won't be long before we take it back. I just hope I live long enough to see it happen. And that's a fact. Cause one thing when you pro black. You might love your people, but they may not love you back For more than 400 years, we've been under attack We survived slavery and then they gave us crack Do revolutionaries go to heaven? 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 I wanna know. Do revolutionaries go to heaven? I hope so. Do revolutionaries go to heaven? I wanna know. Do revolutionaries go to heaven? I hope. Peace and blessings, family. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Taye Speaks. We got another. Very special guest in the house. His brother is very active in the community. He works with a lot of people. Um, he has his own radio show. And I just want to uh, let y'all get a chance to check him out and hear what he got to say. What's good, King? Thanks for coming to the show. How you feeling? Been aware, brother. You know, it's all well blessed to spread knowledge, information, man, and uh, engage in conversation and dialogue with people. I feel way. I'm safe, sane, and strong, man. It's the best way to be. Okay, okay. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for coming in, man. I can't. I got a chance to uh, get on your show in December, man, and that really was the start of my little path to, you know, doing as many radio shows and interviews as I can, man. So I'm thankful for you once again. Sure, I'm thankful for you, brother, uh, for having the courage and the dedication and commitment um, to chronicle our history as well as put the history out there to the mass of the people so they can be educated and acclimated to what's going on in particular in your particular area. It's be always a good thing. You know, our history is world history, so people need to know exactly what's going on. Now, thank you for your scholarship, your effort to continue to push you forward, and what is your travel. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Likewise. Okay, let them know who you are and where you're from. Well, my name is um, Bumani Ihiru Jahad Shakir. Um, I, I currently reside in Columbia, Georgia, the mission home in Dr. John Henry Clark Town, which uh, was a new African pop, new African. Uh, Certified New African Population District at the Bridge of Public Africa. Um, I'm currently also with the Minister of Information for the Bridge of Public Africa. I'm the host of Georgia University Radio. I'm an active spokesperson for Georgia University, one of the Imagine Media Action Network, and I'm currently involved in the, in the active and the local um, New African project in my local area called People Independent, where our foundation is, is uh, deep to is defense, education, education, politics, and culture. You know, so I'm, I'm, I'm overall, I'm an educator. Um, uh, I'm an activist, I'm a community organizer, and, and I'm, a, I'm a propagandist. Because I understand that, the, 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 I understand that our propaganda we put out there, um, it, it, it used to combat the you know, top propaganda in the for Africa. We don't control any the social media sites, we control the, the internet, we control the radio, the TV, anything of the nature. So every opportunity we get, we must propagate our concepts, ideas, and beliefs, and ideology to the best of the people to understand they had the very rich choice to choose from beside what they're seeing in regards to mainstream media and what, they, what they're seeing in regards to our scary teaching that they're pressed spreads upon us and do to us to accept and believe through the American academic system and through the, the, the American legal system. Okay, okay, okay. A little bit about me. 